Today, I'll be continuing restoration work on our Triceratops skull. I'll be focusing on the parietal region, otherwise known as the frill. There are several different regions of loose fragmented bone that I need to secure. First, I'll use the Dremel fan to blow away any loose sediment. After that, I'll apply Paleobon adhesive. And follow up with an accelerant spray. The accelerant or activator spray is fairly useful in that it instantly hardens the glue. This allows me to continue working at an efficient pace. I'm then going to remove this section of the burlap plaster jacket. In this scenario, screwdrivers tend to be useful kind of like a crowbar being able to pry open very hardened pieces of plaster.
After securing the loose fragments, I took a look at this piece. It's hardened, so I'm going to go ahead and douse it with acetone. But sometimes, it's just hardened sediment. One of the questions I often receive is how I tell the difference between bone and sediment. Dinosaur bone is mineralized rock, so it definitely has a solid form as opposed to sediment that could be dissolved. This next portion of jacket was covering the area where the parietal meets the base of the backside of the brow horn. This is difficult because there is a lot of bone fragmentation displaced within the matrix. As you can see, there are a myriad of little fragments that are displaced in this matrix. What I'm going to have to do is take all of the matrix that is on the rear side of this brow horn and place it in this bucket. The reason for me doing so is that I'm able to sift through the matrix and identify individual bone fragments for further restoration. Just to give you an idea of how loose these bone fragments are, look how they move when I tug on this root. These roots are displaced everywhere throughout the skull, and they're going to be difficult to remove. I'm going to stabilize this piece with my left hand using the pick tool, and then follow up with adhesive to secure it. This piece that fell off needs some structural adhesive to keep it up. 
I've collected and organized the larger bone fragments from the rear of the brow horn. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more dinosaur preparation videos.